Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here. I hope I am well audible and you can see the slides clearly because you know, just let us know if there is any issue. Cool, so before starting the actual presentation, I'll quickly introduce myself. So my name is Gaurav Kapoor and originally I'm from India, but right now I live in Berlin. So I am actually a student. I'm doing masters in IT management as well as I have a part-time job of a Drupal developer with this agency, VEC21. And before uh, moving to Berlin, I was a Drupal developer and I have been in the Drupal community for last eight years. I have been a very active code contributor on Drupal.org. I am a maintainer of various modules such as Antibot, Discus, Rollwatch Dog, and many, many others. I've also been very active when it comes to participating in events. This is my fourth uh, DrupalCon. Uh, I'm counting the one which was online as well. And I keep on attending the local camps as well. And um, that's my username on Drupal.org, and that's my website if you want to know more about me. And okay, so before I actually start the presentation, um, so why I'm talking about DXP, because for good uh, six to eight months, my role was of a DXP consultant, and I used to help our clients in implementing the solutions, which would help them uh, like uh, easing the business processes and getting the maximum returns out of their IT investment. and. So that's that's why I thought of uh, having this talk around Drupal and DXP. You must have already uh, heard this phrase in various other presentation as well as uh, like it is kind of trending right now in the Drupal community. And I also did like some research around it as well as worked as a consultant. So I'm now going to present all my thoughts around it and Although it was originally a long presentation, but I'll try to, like, since we only have 20 minutes, so I'll be quick and uh, maybe discuss a few things in the end, post the session. All right. Okay. So before I get into the actual impacts of how Drupal and DXP would interact, how DXP would change Drupal world, let's be on the same page and see what our digital experience platform is. So if you'll Google this out, what is a DXP, you will mostly find all these uh, four definitions. And on the top, you will see the one by Gartner. So as again, if you just read the definition, it is a bit complex. But if you, broke, if you break it down into like, try to understand the actual meaning of the components, then it becomes easier to understand uh, what's the idea behind uh, DXP. So, uh, a digital experience platform is an integrated set of core technologies that support the composition, management, delivery, and optimization of a contextualized digital experience. So again, like it can be confusing if you try to consume it in one go, but if we break it down, it says integrated set of core technologies. And what these core technologies are, so whatever an enterprise does, let's say they have content and they're using CMS for that. So CMS becomes one of the core technology. They might be doing marketing using one of the marketing automation tool. So your, the tool is another technology. And when we say DXP, we have integrated all of these in such a way so that maximum returns are being generated out of the system. And that's what DXP is mostly about. And it also says composition and management, which is once again, picking the right set of core technologies, which will help you out in easing your uh, business process or building a much better application. So all those technologies should be like uh, manageable under the DXP. And then it says delivery. Uh, so what's the like use of application if your users are not able to reach it? So ensuring that the, the platform that you have developed is accessible to users also comes under it. And then in the end, it says contextualized digital experience. So this is an important one. And this is the main, like the focus point, which differentiates DXP from like uh, all the development we have been doing till now. When we say contextualized, so 
uh, your platforms are much more personalized, much more uh, like uh, uh, user centric and try to understand your user, what kind of content do they want to access. And then uh, the web, uh, like when I say platform, it could be a website or it could be an app, then how it, how it changes its behavior so that users feel that, okay, the application is listening to them. So that's the pretty much the gist of DXP. It's not like we have not been doing integrations or we, we have not been using multiple system. All those things have been happening. But major differentiation is uh, the contextualized part and the focus is now on uplifting the actual digital experience of a user. So if I take an example of Netflix. So Netflix has a website and you can go there, you can log in and you can start watching TV series. But as soon as you have uh, seen few of the TV shows, the next time you'll see the homepage is slightly different. You only see the content which their algorithm thinks you might be interested in. So in a way, they, they took your data and then now they're using it to show you much more relevant data when you access it again. And similarly, they have mobile app, which also functions in a similar way. And if you have noticed, if you enable email notification, then also the newsletter which you get has a content which is much more relevant to you. Like if we just look at like five, 10 years back, all these uh, different systems weren't that well integrated. You might be receiving a generic newsletter and the chances were you would not click on it because uh, it is just a generic. It is what uh, uh, the marketing people at Netflix thought you might watch. But now the newsletter has a content based on your own data. So all this is happening. Uh, and the main concept behind it, you can say, is the, uh, is the DXP. And why, OK, so now coming to why, uh, again, like having this talk, because my main like aim is like Drupal community should also think in this direction. We should, like whenever designing our systems, we should uh, think about user experience and how it can be enhanced further, because bar is already very high. We all use Netflix. We all use services by Google. And we are get kind of getting used to a contextualized digital experience. So if your client or customer is implementing something new, it would be a good idea to design the system in such a way that user experience is being given a priority. So that's the basic of DXP. OK, so it's a, it's a diagram. And once again, if you Google it, first image, that's what pops up. In a way, if you see in the center, once again, focus is on, again, on seamless uh, digital experience. Then we have various uh, business functions around it, what else an enterprise might want to do. And in the last outer circle, you will see the various touch points. The touch point is uh, all the like places where your user interacts with the business. So, net, so touch point of Netflix are a website, a app, and the newsletters. Cool. Okay. So again, very first like moment you start talking about DXP, that's the question. This is always going to pop up. This pops up whenever something new comes up, be it a new technology or just a concept like DS DXP. So with DXP, you have a good control of all touch points. Now you're not just not just rely, like let's say we are all uh, like in uh, work on Drupal and we end up just focusing on the Drupal website. And some other company might be developing an app for the same same business. But if you think in a DXP way, then uh, and if you ensure proper integration, then you can control all the touch points uh, uh, in which a business uh, interacts with its user. So I'll give a better example of controlling all touch points. So I was working uh, with a client, and they are an insurance company based in Europe. So they had a website, which is mainly for showcasing the blogs. And if the user can go to that website and click on purchase insurance, and once they have done that, uh, they can download the mobile app where they can pay the premiums and manage their insurance policy. So, two, uh, so right now, just two touch points are integrated. They have a website for marketing and for sales, and then they have an app to manage the policies. And they decided to have a smartwatch app, which will count the number of steps a user takes in one day. And then 
uh, based on that data, the next time they will give you an appropriate discount in your insurance premium. So just by integrating all, this, all the systems, and it's, it's a much more engaging platform now, which will eventually help the business in the longer run. Okay, next is good connectivity between your IT, marketing, sales, and customer care. So again, multi different system, each system doing what they're meant to do, not well integrated. Uh, then these problems can occur, but uh, if you integrate them in a the right way, it, it is going to help the business. The next is aggregating all the data. Uh, so uh, now since you have control of all the touch points, you're collecting data from the web app as well as the mobile app, and then it can be used for personalization and various other purposes. Marketing, automating marketing is much more easier in DXP and being future ready. Let's say uh, in future, let's say we have a new device which everyone starts using and it can be like, uh, maybe it, uh, just like, you know, you're a smart speaker, you just uh, ask it something and then it sh shows you a data or maybe uh, plays it on a speaker. Uh, so with DXP, uh, but when you design a system which is already uh, developed by integrating various components, it is much more easier to integrate a new one compared to the monolithic designs which we used to have. Okay, so when I say DXP, you will mostly see all these components. There is always uh, there is always a CMS, and uh, these are the like available choices in CMF. You might have a web or a mobile application, and there is mostly a customer data platform. Okay, so it is important to understand since we already have a CMS where we are showcasing our content, why not use it uh, for, uh, so what's the customer data here? So when I'm accessing a blog, that's I'm accessing a content. So that content is goes in your, uh, in Drupal system. But let's say I clicked on a particular link or I spend more time on a particular paragraph. So all this is the user data or let's say if it's an e-commerce website and I added a product to a cart. So this event is logged logged in a CDP. So you should have a clear differentiation between what is content and what is data. And for storing data, it is recommended to go with a dedicated system like CDP uh, with segment being a popular one uh, because it would be too much of an overkill to do that in Drupal. Okay, and since search is also like a very common functionality in most of the systems we develop, and you also might have a dedicated e-commerce system to manage the product information or any other like the tran uh, transaction data or something like that. Okay, so where does Drupal fits in in this entire uh, DXP ecosystem? Good thing is that it is a very popular choice when selecting a CMS and especially when going with OpenDXP, I'll talk about it in a while. And Drupal integrates very easily with various popular marketing automation platform. You will find, for most of them, you'll find a module already on drupal.org. So when you're designing or building your system, you don't have to spend a lot of effort in writing integration. You can rely on the modules which are already available. If you are planning to go headless, then Drupal, as, as we all are aware, has a quite good uh, API system for, for quite some time now, and it can play a good role there as well. And since we are trying to join a lot of system, there is going to be a lot of data flow. So having a good migration framework is also uh, a good advantage, which Drupal has. So you will have no trouble in moving data to and even from Drupal. Okay, so there are these are two very popular uh, DXP suites that are available. One is by Akia. They have a Akia CMS, which is a modified Drupal, plus uh, uh, it works well with Site Studio. And they have a campaign studio for marketing. They have a CDP as well as they have a Akia Cloud where you can host your application. So you can pick it for your customer if they are uh, convinced with the uh, with the Akia's offering, and then to build their DXP system, you don't have to go any place else. You can simply 
launch uh, various services already by Akia and then uh, develop a system over it. Otherwise, other alternative is open DXP where you can just go with the vanilla Drupal and use Motic for marketing automation and Apache, you know me as, a, as your customer data a platform. And this is especially useful uh, like uh, since we are in like EU zone and most of the companies here prefer to own their data. They don't uh, want to keep their data on a third party server or someplace else. So OpenDXP is a good alternative in those cases. Okay, now the, uh, okay, I'm almost there. Okay, so what changes for agencies and developer, like overall what changes for us since we are either like part of agencies or business owner or developer. So agencies should start looking at the bigger picture. Most of the time I've seen we are, we restrict ourselves to implementing the Drupal system. But if we think about uh, how how can we solve a, a particular business's problem, and then uh, because almost all businesses want to have marketing as well as they want to collect user data, which can be useful for them in future. So agencies overall should can like enhance their offerings, and you must have already noticed most of the agencies are doing it, and. Next thing is the architectural changes because like uh, now think about it like uh, how user experience is going to be enhanced when some application is developed or let's say you start developing it today. So at this moment only you have to think that how uh, how like in future because as I told you we are already you getting used to a contextualized digital experience. So even like it's when starting a new project, that's when you should think about digital experience as well. What changes for developer, like be on top when it comes to integrating with third party application, not uh, something new, but then instead of trying to solve everything in Drupal, maybe leverage all the technology, uh, which is already there. So one good example is all of you must have uh, seen views and most of the times we get a requirement that, okay, show all 10 latest nodes or maybe show nodes that are tagged with a particular term, but why not, uh, why not collect user data and see what all nodes they access and then use it to maybe contextualize your view. Just, that's just one example. Might not be useful for all customers, but you now you should be equipped with this, like this is possible and it, it is doable and it is a good thing to do uh, because overall like we are in a sort of a DXP movement and next developer should be on top uh, when it comes to understanding the security and performance aspect with one system it is easier to manage these but with the multiple ones there can be some like risk like introduced just because of the integration. So we have to take care of that. And then extra focus on data privacy and possible violations. This is, I've noticed it is good in Europe, but, but in US or, or even in like Asian countries, it is not at all a focus because most of the time you must have noticed you sign up on a website and then you start getting emails from them. So even if the customer requirement doesn't say that uh, uh, like, uh, let's say they want to send newsletter without user permission, but as a developer, you should be uh, careful of these aspects. So that's, that's pretty much it. It was a, I want, just wanted to keep this in the, in the community that now we have to think the DXP way might sound like a buzzword or might feel like not something new, but a little bit of difference and we are now we want to enhance the user ex the experience a user has after using a Drupal website and we can leverage various other available technologies for that so thank you